What is going on guys, Brown here, welcome back to another video here today for my F1 2019 career mode here in Mexico for part 58 of the career mode there's only 4 rounds left of the season, we had a good qualifying we've got a good strategy lined up you can see here on your screen the keen eye viewer wouldn't notice that there is scheduled rain in the middle of the race so that's going to be very difficult and something to factor into our strategy but this is the mexican grand prix and this is the grid for the race so pig gasly's on pole max verstappen gets p2 yes again brown is third with charles leclerc fourth 5th and 6th is Sergio Perez and Carlos Sainz good result for the Mexican at his home Grand Prix Sebastian Vettel 7th and George Russell 8th Round out the top 10 is Alexander Albon and Nico Hulkenberg Lando Norris and Roman Grosjean 11th and 12th and it's all Renault Row with Butler ahead of Ricardo then Juvenazzi is 15th and Lance Stroll way off his teammate in 16th. Valtteri Bottas is 17th and Lucas Weber is 18th. And the final row of the grid is Kevin Magnussen with Lewis Hamilton taking the 10th place grid penalty. So this is it then, the five red lights come on here in Mexico. It's lights out and away we go. It's basically going to be a drag race down into turn one. Such a long straight. And now we've got a goodish start. We have it. We're going to have to just stay in the slipstream. It's a good start by Sergio Perez on the outside there. We're all just in positions. We head down into turn one. Nearly four wide there. With four out Sergio Perez. You can see in the right hand corner of your screen. That is kind of our perspective of it. But side by side. We haven't got past Charles Leclerc. They've put a win on the grass as well for good luck we're on the back of Charles Leclerc we're going to send it though into turn 5 is it? turn 4 around the outside we do get the job done I think in the end around the outside go off the track but we do get the job done on Charles Leclerc now, now heading through the S section and we need to pounce and get on the back but Charles Leclerc isn't done yet because here he comes they're nearly four wide just about Charles Leclerc back down the inside there is Carlos Sainz battling away with Sebastian Vettel as well side by side through the stadium section they're still side by side but Carlos Sainz does get ahead of Sebastian Vettel there we've pulled out a small gap ahead of Charles Leclerc but he's definitely going to come back at this here the slipstream so OP here in Mexico and he's going to go to the inside of us here and he's probably going to get the job done we are going to hold him though round the outside we've got a bit deep though we're going to have to get back over to that right side of the track to cover him off and we do the Sergio Perez now getting past Sebastian Vettel Sebastian Vettel kind of dropping like a stone so early on in this race we're only on lap two George Russell now thinking about it around the outside our teammate in the Williams George Russell has the inside line does get the job done there by the looks of things side by side back down the inside he goes they're still side by side I thought George was going to get their job done on traction there they're still side by side round the outside George isn't quite brave enough to do that one lap later basically copy and paste of what happened on lap two side by side we have to defend round the outside again we don't go as deep though into turn one as we did the previous lap and we do defend Charles Leclerc once again there but Charles Leclerc now coming under pressure from Carlos Sainz Carlos Sainz trying to go around the outside of course in real life that will be his seat well not alongside Charles Leclerc so battling away early with what will be his teammate very soon Charles Leclerc side by side down the inside Charles does get past and does stay ahead Carlos Sainz like George Russell a lap ago not quite brave enough to go around the outside for the S section but Charles Leclerc now I think he was planning on getting past Carlos Sainz Carlos Sainz did overtake him but now he's been left defending Sergio Perez 
and whilst all this has been going on Wedge has been pulling but on lap 4 out of the race goes Daniel Ricciardo it's thin air here in Mexico and that is proven to be too much for the Renault engine that has gone bang just 4 laps into the race the safety car is out and we are going to make the very kind of risky decision to pit but I don't really want a repeat of Russia so we're going to pit we are going to go onto the hard tyres and we're just going to take them as far as humanly possible and then we'll go back into the softs so basically our original strategy but just with the hard so this is the pack then it is Verstappen leads from Gasly from his teammate Sainz from Charles Leclerc from Sebastian Vettel from George Russell Albon Lando Norris Grosjean Butler in the Renault then it is Patrick Bottas Stroll Giovinazzi Weber Hamilton Magnussen and then us and then in last place there is Sergio Perez and Nico Hulkenberg on lap 6 the safety car does come in and this is going to be an interesting race now because a lot of drivers didn't pit I think maybe the safety car came out at the wrong time for them so they already passed the pit entry by the time the safety car was deployed but they're going to have to get away now this whole both of the Ferraris both of the Red Bulls and most of them behind them as well so we could be sitting very pretty in this race when it comes later on and the strategy starts to play out but Max Verstappen has bolted then and we can get this Mexican Grand Prix back underway on lap 7 but here comes Pierre Gasly Pierre Gasly's gonna go for it on Max Verstappen we're gonna go cut further back as we are now going to make our way back through the field hopefully we've got Magnussen in front of us we're gonna send it on Magnussen and we are going to get past Magnussen up next is the Mercedes of Lewis Hamilton that's going to be a hard move to do one lap later though here comes Max Verstappen going to try and retake the lead off Pierre Gasly round the outside into turn one the side by side three turns two and three they're still side by side but it looks like Pierre Gasly has retained the lead and now here comes Carlos Sainz Pierre Gasly's teammate round the outside of Max Verstappen they're side by side Carlos Sainz is going to force him wide and Max Verstappen has gone from trying to gain one to losing one there and now on to lap 9 a couple of laps later we are on the back of the Mercedes I saw a little mistake from Hamilton we kind of a bit dodgy that one we went off the track and we're going to sail around the outside of Lewis Hamilton the 6 time world champion like it's nothing there down the inside we do get the job done on Lewis he'll probably be coming back at us though very soon it wouldn't surprise me he is quick in that Mercedes but that Mercedes very much so nowhere near it should be like I was saying Lewis does come back at us now and he's going to try it again here on lap 10 he's getting closer closer we do really force him really aggressive to the inside and he does re overtake us we're going to go to the outside and try and do what Max Verstappen did and sail around the outside we got to do it late down the inside round the outside as well and we do stay ahead of Lewis Hamilton just he definitely gave us a run for our money but on lap 12, those who stayed out uh, whilst the safety car was out, I started to make those stops. And in the meantime, the rain has come down and the tyres, these hard tyres, have hit a cliff. And I am struggling so, so, so much. The, you can see, the, literally, it's like the F1 gods click their fingers and these hard tyres just went cold I had no grip whatsoever it was like driving on it's like it was literally like driving with tinned trays put under the rear tyres Nico Hulkenberg now is going to try and re overtake us there's the Red Bull of I believe it is Carlos Sainz or, 
I think it is Carlos Sainz. We're going to have to re-overtake Nico Hulkenberg. I was being very aggressive because the pace I had, I knew if I let any one of them pass, I was not catching them later on in the race. So it's actually Pierre Gasly rather than not Carlos Sainz. But Max Verstappen is in that battle as well. As you can, we can watch Max Verstappen here. Pierre Gasly is going wheel to wheel with Nico Hulkenberg in the McLaren. Down the inside through the double right hander left. And now, side by side, I don't think he didn't get the move done, Pierre Gasly. You can see the rain just about flicking down on your screen. And now here comes Nico Hulkenberg on us. And also in the background, Max Verstappen is going for it on Pierre Gasly. There definitely is some bad blood there with Tapped. Nico Hulkenberg and he somehow held it and stayed ahead of us and in the meantime we've lost out to Max Verstappen we've lost out to both of them this isn't good because now we don't really have the pace these tyres are literally done it they're not they've got no pace whatsoever Max Verstappen is now in the net lead of the race and now when he gets past Nico Hulkenberg he is in the lead of the Mexican Grand Prix and that's not good for the championship on our point of view. Wheel to wheel, we are with Pierre Gasly, Pierre Gasly on the outside of us. We do defend, we go miles off the track, there's Carlos Sainz as well. And we've been very dirty there, that is very questionable. But the pace we had, I kind of didn't really have a choice. Because if we let them through, like I was saying earlier, they were gone because these tyres were absolutely horrendous. I didn't, I kind of, it was a need up reaction, the kind of pit stop. Because we were literally at the final corner. I think we, if we were on the mediums right now, it wouldn't have been that much of an issue. But Carlos Sainz is really putting pressure on us. We have to pinch him into the apex going through the stadium section. And look at the cars lined up behind us it's literally all aboard the mexican train forget the mexican wave it's the mexican train here in mexico as we go down the straight the two red bulls are side by side and it looks like i think it's carlos Sainz getting past his teammate there going into turn one we have managed to pull out a bit of a gap the rebel makes a mistake sergio perez pounces and gets past and that puts him into p5 if he can get the traction but that the red bull of gasly on the hard so this is where it's kind of questionable he's lost another position there where the ai are ridiculously op in the wet especially conditions like this and I've got no pace whatsoever, so I can't really do too much, which is slightly annoying. we just got to kind of hold on, and the rain is going to stop. So we just kind of have to pray that it, it that comes quickly, and we can start to get away. But you can see how much I'm struggling. Here comes Carlos Sainz and Valtteri Bottas, actually Sebastian Vettel, sorry and they've just double overtaken us here but we're not going to give up we're going to sail back around the outside we've gone off the track down the inside side by side with the red bull around the outside we do defend somehow and look at the cars honestly what we made a massive mistake there going through the tight part of the track that's where i was struggling the most i was literally it's like I was going around the Monaco hairpin, that's how slow I was going, you can see here, this is the onboard, just no grip whatsoever, just the rears kept on locking, I was lowering the differential, I was doing everything I could to try and like bring some life back in there, contact there, we've made contact with Carlos Sainz, Sebastian Vettel have gone through, have a look at that in a second, Carlos Sainz now coming under pressure, from Alexander Albon, he wants that Red Bull seat, and now we might have to prove it, side by side, down the inside into turn four, and Alexander Albon gets the job done, we're side by side with Sebastian Vettel though, side by side round the outside, Sebastian Vettel gets us, because this is another look at the incident then, 
So round the outside and he locked up. I left the space and then he just locked up and slid into me. Everyone is struggling. But I'll put a poll in the corner. You can let me know what you think of that incident down below. And we'll just have to see then. There's an, another. As on lap 27, the rain stopped around about this point and I really started to fly away I'm not saying I completely like bolted but we had some pace everyone was making their second stop so on lap 27 we're going on lap 28 we're going to pit for the softs and now we've got what eight laps to fly to the end of this race we pitted we were p2 and we're going to come out in p10 and we're just about going to be at Lando Norris there for P10 and now we can get the hammer down everyone around us either going to be in the mediums or the hards so we have the tyre advantage and now we can kind of do the opposite to what we've been doing most of this race round the outside and into P9 we go on Nico Hulkenberg next up is Lucas Weber and it's not going to be long but there's Carlos Sainz Carlos Sainz engine has blown and he is out of the Mexican Grand Prix as we go round the outside of Lucas Weber and this is a replay then of what happened to Carlos Sainz he was just about to overtake Charles Leclerc and that puts him out of the race just a handful of laps to go and what's he doing here that's so dangerous just going so slow on the fastest point of the track and what could have been some very, very good points. Sorry, it's not Carlos Sainz, it's Pierre Gasly, who was second in the championship and really needs a good result to try and win this championship. And is now retired and his championship very much under pressure if he wants to win the title and wants to beat Max Verstappen. We got past Charles Leclerc now, and now we're on the back. This is... George Russell, our teammate, getting past Devon Butler and a couple of corners later, we're on the back of Devon Butler here. Butler though, is going to go for the move on George Russell. We tried to double overtake on both of them. Devon Butler locks up Devon Butler though, sweeps round the outside of George Russell. We get George Russell and now we're going to have to make mount a challenge on our F2 rival. Devon Butler, we're getting closer, we're getting closer. This is a lovely camera shot as we go down the inside, we lock up, go a bit wide, but we do get the job done on Devon Butler. Now though, we are probably going to have to exit Mexico in blacked out windows because Sergio Perez is third and we are going to get past Sergio Perez and deny him of a podium at his home Grand Prix. And that's is a tutorial of how to become the most hated driver in Mexico. But onto the final lap, Max Verstappen states his claim and wins the Mexican Grand Prix. It's only a matter of time before he becomes world champion by the looks of. It's going to be P2 for Vettel, and we, in a very dramatic race, are going to come home in P3. Good job, he did really well. Super driving. Here's our winner, pulling their Ferrari into Park Ferme. What a fantastic race it was. What do you think it was, Ant, that gave them the edge over the competition today? Without a doubt, the safety car changed everything today. The key to their success was keeping calm and reacting to the situation quickly. We've seen teams in the past throw away wins because they were too hesitant, but here they were decisive and that's allowed them to take the advantage. Ferrari are at it again, an excellent performance at today's Grand Prix, and they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there.
Championship. Here's how things look in the driver's table. Max Verstappen should be pleased with his performance, making gains at the top of the table. Wow, well, what a race. That's been your Mexican Grand Prix. What a race that turned into. Could have very been a frustrating one. But we somehow pulled that off and got a podium in the end. I, I, I don't know what just happened to be honest. They were the most dramatic what eight laps I've ever had on an F1 race. That was ridiculous. P10 to P3. Carlos Sainz retiring, Pierre Gasly retiring. So, what does that mean for the championship? Well, let's have a look, shall we? Max Verstappen now has a 49 point lead over Pierre Gasly. We are 65 points behind Max Verstappen. For So Max Verstappen only 10 points off the title. There's still 75 points left this season. So we mathematically can still win the title. But realistically we are out of the fight. We would have to win the last three rounds. And hope something bad happens to... Um, Max Verstappen but if you have enjoyed that video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel and want to see more but we can go into America knowing we have a lot to do I'll see you in the next one goodbye